Hey guys, those are my here. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, I was confused and now I know what to do. Um, and basically, we want to turn back into Banjo now because there is no reason to be a walrus anymore. It, it, was, it was a short trip, but it was a good trip, I'd say. I enjoyed being a walrus. I enjoyed only having front legs and a giant teeth and uh, basically being a human blob. But you know, it, it was it was all right. It was it was decent. Give it about a three out of ten. <laughs> all right, mumbo man, change me back, move for you. Hey, you guys, want to hear a conspiracy verse? Fury, what if Banjo is not actually a bear, but instead? Mumbo turned him into a bear, and he was originally something else. Ever think about that? Yeah, I didn't think so. Even though that could probably be disproven in a million different ways. Like, for instance, if you stray too far away from Mumbo, he's like, Oh, you can't do that anymore. Okay, so. One of the things you want to do, I think, I think, I think, is you can come up here, back to the starting line, and Boggy is here again. And if you talk to him, hey buddy, fancy a race against Boggy? Press A to start, yes. It will be the, yeah, on A, A. Yes, good. Okay. Okay, buddy, here's the rules. Run through the the red slate. Yeah, I get it. I, yeah, I get it. I fucking get it. I've done the shit before, mate. Okay, so here's the thing about this. See those running shoes there? They told us to fuck off earlier? Well, they still want us to fuck off. And he goes so fucking fast, and we are so slow, that he can't even say his insults fast enough. And... It's too easy. I'm giving up. Yeah. There is no feasible way for you to win this race until we have access to the running shoes. You know, everybody would be thinking, but uh, it's not the matter. He, he, you, you, you got all of the, 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 the moves, didn't you? Well, here's the thing. This level is actually tied in with another uh, world, and that world is called Gobi's Valley, uh, which we'll be going to next. And essentially, the way it works is um, each world has the other world's opposing move that's needed. That doesn't make any sense. But essentially, if we were to go to Gobi's Valley first, which was technically an option, we would get there and we wouldn't be able to do something that, uh, uh, a G that required us to use the Beak Bomb. Yeah. Um, which we got in this level. However, if we, um, and considering we're here, we need the running shoes, which you can only get in Gobi's Valley. So you kind of got to go between the two worlds. Anyway, one of the things we did, which is what I discovered was, we got to give the presents to the kids. That's the jiggy I was forgetting. Yippee, now we've all got presents. Here's something for you. Hooray, yeah. I probably should have done this last because it's technically on the way out, but whatever. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty damn proud of myself if I have to say. I, I, I saved those kids' lives by giving them presents like the spoiled breasts they are. Kids in Africa could have eaten those presents. Jesus Christ. Wait, uh, no. Yeah, we'll be fine. I, I was worried that things would respawn for some reason. I'm like, okay. I hope the snowman don't come back. I have fucking nightmares about that shit, man. Uh, actually, we want to be over there. Uh, gracefully jump. Hooray! I'm on a tiny tad of a time limit right now. Uh, but I think this will still be a well-rounded episode. I'm just a, I might be a bit more panicky as well. Because I've got to go somewhere after this. Alright, so you come back into his cave, and he's like, Oh, fuck, it's a fucking bear! Eek! It's the bear again! Take that noisy orange thing with you! I love that. People self-aware that the gingos are there. Hooray, we grab that, and we get the jiggy, and all was well with the world. Yeah. So we've got nine jiggies, and like I said, we cannot feasibly get the tenth one until we go to Gobi's Valley and get the new move. Now. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before. You guys remember Stop and Swap? That key right there, the ice key. I hope you like the look of it, because you ain't ever gonna grab it. There is no feasible way to get in there, because they discontinued or just did not finish off that idea of the stock and swap. There you fucking go. Because the problem is, I'm pretty sure I've talked to you about it, and if I haven't, I talked about it when I recorded this the first time. 
<laughs> so I have no idea. But yeah, we are 100% done with Gobi's Valley now. <laughs> I wish. No, this is Freeze Easy Peak. I got Gobi's Valley on the mind. I'm ready to go to the next level, even though I cannot record that tonight. But whatever. <clears throat> I think the last thing we'll do in this episode, we will go grab uh, the Jiggy that Grantilda Switch gave us. However, I'm not 100% sure if I know how to get it. Oh wait, maybe I do? I mean, I know how, but do we? Do I know how? You know? I think I do. I think. Yeah, I, I did it. My best note score is a hundred. Oh yeah, fucking of all the enemies to leak through, like all the wells, this motherfucker. God damn it! I don't know what happens if you kill that guy. I might try that out. Maybe in the next recording session. We'll see. Uh, okay, so do I press the button? The time has come to push the button. World. The time has come to push the button. You guys remember that game? It was a game who pushed the button. All you did was press it, and there was like weird text on the screen. Fuck, I just remember that game. It's crazy. It's like an old Flash game or something from like Armor Cut, Armor Games. You guys remember Armor Games? They were pretty interesting. I don't know if they were good or not, but the problem was when I was a kid, games were games were games were games, so it didn't really fucking matter. I was just into it. Uh, okay. Oh, tell you fucking what, we can't do this fucking thing until we go to Gobi's Valley. Isn't that a dick punch? Oh. You meanies! Alright, well that's fine, because I'm pretty sure we can go to Gobi's Valley now. Uh, we'll go and get the uh, the jigsaw. Why not? We'll do that in this episode. Yeah. I don't know how long this episode has been. been. I, I use my watch for a timer. Uh, I don't know why, but I do. Yeah, open the door. This is crazy. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the... That, yeah, it's in here. It's totally in here. In this lava filled cavern of death. La 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 Here it is! Yeah! Ba -ba -ba -ba. Gobi's Valley. Yeah! That's actually in an area much earlier on. I'm pretty sure the node door I just opened as well is quite high in notes. So you want to be a bit more thorough with your note finding. The note writing. Yeah. How many of you are note takers in class? I know this is a very random question, but it's kind of something I think about occasionally. Because I see people write notes and shit for subjects and stuff all the time, which we're not going to be tested on, and there's no other reason to do it than personal gain, you know? And they know that, but they do it anyway. Now, it could just be me, because I hate writing notes that I don't care about. I am, I am very open in the amount of how much I don't care about certain subjects, but I have to take anyway. And it's not like I do badly in them anyway, I want to kind of emphasize. I'm not a fucking screw around, but I just, like, things like taking notes, it just doesn't interest me because I can just, like, I research, you know, I know what's important, you know, it's like, okay, this lesson is all well and good, but it doesn't interest me, so I don't care. And I know it's a really bad lesson for the kids out there, but uh, this, I don't care, this isn't a kid's show, so there you go. I'm just curious how many people are like, yeah, I write notes because it interests me, or the subject does, or whatever. It's just, it's just curious to me, because I gotta take, like, history and shit, and history really seriously bores me. And, like, I know there'll probably be people arguing with me, but history is interesting. It's not to me, okay? It's just not. There are certain parts of history that do interest me, but the things I'm learning about do not. And it's just that simple. But what I'm trying to say is, like, I don't feel the need to take notes if I am not gonna need the notes, you know? Oh, hey, Brian, I don't give a shit. Anyway, what a weird side change. We're gonna go into Gobi's Valley. And look at it. Shit. <laughs> so I'm looking at time. Wow, it looks so good. You'll find one more move. Gee, I wonder what it is. And uh, we'll be doing that next time. Let's play Banjo Kazooie. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ooh, that was burp at the end.